Doctor? No. Yes? You are live in one minute. Okay, great. Felicia, everything looks fantastic. I'm so glad. Actually, uh, guess what we're doing live on today? Corneal scars and how I use lasers for them. Uh, today's your day five. Actually, you have just removed your BCL, the bandage yes. contact lens. Yes. And I'm thrilled with you. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I just, I'm so happy. And this is the first time I've actually felt that much peace. And since my blinding scar, I had a corneal scar. And um, I was told by specialists in Hawaii and in California that there was nothing they could do for me. Um, and I was not encouraged to come here, but I'm so glad I did. It's incredible. Love it. I'm thrilled with your vision is nearly 2020, and today is day five from the laser. This is your scar pre op. Unbelievable. Ship. This is you. Wow. Full stop. Wow. I'm uh, very happy. Have a safe trip back to Hawaii. I sure will. I'm actually driving across the country now, so I will be behind the wheel. Still, I'll watch you. Make sure you don't say anything silly, okay? I will. Congratulations. Thank Happy you so pleasure. much, doctor. Take care. Safe trip home. Okay, guys, let's. Um, Kim, can you please help her? I'll yeah. see you in a moment. Uh, so regarding corneal scars, uh, we are live now, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to share with all of you, especially a lot of doctors who have written to me, is don't look at corneal scars as a situation of despair. Look at it as an opportunity and think of it as a refractive surgery. Uh, incidentally, another patient today here uh, from Hawaii that you met with dense corneal scars on the, cor on the left eye in her case with 2200 vision, when you look at it refractively, your mindset changes. Don't think about a transplant. Don't think about a hard contact lens. Think of them as extreme last opportunities. In between, think of it as refractive surgery. So we laser her refractively in the laser corneoplastique concept that I talk about and brought her to 2020. So that's very, very important. And today, again, incidentally, she's here because did a surgery just this week. And she's leaving. She's actually going cross country. I'll make sure she doesn't. <laughs> but uh, the important thing is her comfort. The eye looks perfect, white, quiet, no inflammation, vision of 2020, with her scar having been shaped now. I think it's a tremendous advance and a paradigm shift that I want all of you to um, really embrace and take over. And all these kinds of scars, I mean, scars, as you all know, a lot of doctors who are on this uh, Facebook Live right now, scars can be from any reason. Most common causes of corneal scars are infections or contact lens infections. You can have uh, from a complication of LASIK or PRK, vision corrective surgeries, uh, even in cataract surgery and trauma. So it doesn't matter what caused the scar. Look at the scar as a refractive surgery. How do we take that patient despite the scar to 20-20 vision without glasses or contacts? And the backup is always a transplant or a heart contact lens. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I want to share with you, uh, which I will be talking a lot about in my, in my courses and lectures over the next week. Uh, my team, as usual, will prepare a material for you uh, on Facebook and keep it ready for you. Uh, call or email me with any questions you have, but may I encourage all the ophthalmologists, all the optometrists, everybody who's in the eye care field to raise the bar. Take patients of scars and take them to the next level of vision. Do not give them only options of transplants and contacts. They can see 2020. I've been doing this for over 16 years. It's my pleasure to share this with you and I encourage you to do more. All right, with that, uh, I'll take your leave. This is Dr. Galani. Thanks. Okay, where is she?